Emma, thanks for that. While some support the mayor's plan, a key state lawmaker calls the KCPD budget proposal extremely disappointing. The I-Team's Andy Alcock is going in-depth for us tonight on whether or not, Andy, this proposal, does it defund the police? Well, Dia State Senator Tony Lukemeyer says it clearly does. Lukemeyer is the chair of a committee dealing with criminal justice. Mayor Lucas has a different take. This is not defunding the police. What this is, is actually increasing accountability for the first time in 80 years. Kansas City Mayor Quentin Lucas defended his plan to reallocate a large portion of the Kansas City police budget toward a new community services and crime prevention fund. $47 million is not actually a lot if you compare it to the full police budget and the full budget of Kansas City. I think there's definitely a place for that, but at the same time, you should not be taking away from the police department's budget to do those things. State so, Senator Tony Lukemeyer believes the two ordinances would have a negative effect on public safety. The city is going to get less safe. Last September, the police department was facing the possibility of a $26 million budget cut due to a pandemic-related revenue shortfall. Chief Rick Smith at that time said because 90% of KCPD's budget goes to personnel, potentially hundreds of officers could have been laid off at a time when there's no new recruiting class to replace them. Shutting down a KCPD station was also on the table. Mayor Lucas and Chief Smith spoke on those concerns in September. I do not support cutting officers. I do not support closing the station. And I think that there are better ways that we can make sure we continue to deliver necessary services in Kansas City. There's no way we get there without cutting personnel. Um, there, there's just no way. In September, there were 1,331 sworn KCPD officers. According to KCPD, that number is expected to drop below 1,200 40 by the end of the month. The federal government sent hundreds of federal agents to Kansas City and we still broke a homicide record. However, in comments Thursday, Mayor Lucas cited Operation Legend last year to get violent criminals off the streets. He indicated increasing the number of police officers on the streets isn't the solution to Kansas City's crime problem. To take money away from the police department when we have the sixth most dangerous city in America is just simply wrongheaded and I think it's going to be a huge mistake if the city goes down this road. Luke Meyer is citing FBI stats about Kansas City being the sixth most dangerous city in America based on homicides per number of residents. He also said if the city defunds KCPD, state lawmakers will take action next year. Luke Meyer also sponsored a bill to drop the residency requirement for police departments to entice officers in large metro departments like KCPD to stay. I'm IT reporter Andy Alcock, 41 Action News.